Hey everybody, welcome back to another day, another night here at the Adventure Tech Garage. We're still working on the first gen 4Runner here for Kyler and we've gotten a lot of work done on it up till now. I'm trying to get it wrapped up here so I can get it delivered to him so he can take it back home to Boise. When this thing finally does roll out the door, we'll actually do a list what's seen on the whiteboard over there of all the different things that we've accomplished on this thing. Got taken photos along the way, done some video and stuff too, but haven't really done a a full solid video per each job we've done because i've just had my hands full and videoing and editing takes some time so where we're at today where we're at now is kind of uh diving in kind of deep here on this old uh, 22re this is a 1986 model independent front suspension with a manual transmission so spent quite a bit of time today uh, before i was able to come out here to work on it researching the best way to get the oil pan off. Because what we're gonna do here is, what we're doing here is doing a timing cover uh, gasket replacement along with new timing chain, sprockets, seals, and in the process we are going to change out and reseal the pan, the oil pan. Because up till this point, I've done a bunch of work on the backside, getting the whole transmission, had the transmission out, replaced the rear main seal, replaced the front, all the seals in the transmission to clean up a whole mess of leaks that we had on this truck. So now that that's all buttoned up, we've got the suspension on, we've got the new tires on, thing is kicking ass. And so we're trying to get the front end of this engine uh, wrapped up here so I can give it to him, he can go back and have a good time with it. So anyway, a lot of research today shows that, you know, there's kind of two schools of thought about getting that transmission, that uh, engine oil pan off. A lot of guys say to pull the motor mounts, lift it. So that's one option. The big concern with lifting these, apparently if you have an automatic transmission like I do have on my 86 pickup, uh, you run the risk of kind of crushing some things in the back. But here on the manual side, it's not a big problem. So some guys swear by just being able to lift the motor and not having to go through all the hassle of removing the diff or even rotating the differential and or dropping the front cross member. But I think what we're gonna try today is we're gonna try out the to bust the motor mounts loose because that would be the quickest, easiest way to do it. Roll the uh, cherry picker over here and see what kind of real estate we can get with just doing it that way. And if it doesn't work out that way, then hopefully I won't have wasted too much time doing that. And then we will finagle at least at least rotating the front differential down and out of the way. So when we're done with this uh, part of the project, it'll be nice because uh, right now he's got some coolant leaks that spew out so much dang coolant that you can't even get very far constantly having to top it off. So hopefully we get this all buttoned up and... Uh, it's going to be a bit of a job here. The only thing I was going to mention is that it's kind of a bummer because I wasn't 100% sure I was going to go this far on the project. And if I had known for sure that I was, then I suspect it would have been easier to pull the pan off while I had the transmission out. Shit, I could have probably just jacked up the rear of the engine at that point and just unbolted everything, just slid it to the back. But the big challenge here, obviously, is the oil pickup inside of the oil pan so that's going to be a trick but anyway trying to get this whole thing sealed up new valve cover gasket clean everything up and get this sucker headed down the road so stay tuned if you're into that sort of thing all right one other perk that i'm hoping that will happen because of this is that i, sh I might be able to actually get my impact gun in here to remove that bolt okay we got the four bolts loose i chose to do the four outer bolts instead of the nut just because the plate can separate right there where you see it while we carefully watch the back of that and we lift it up to the max yeah, there's definitely nothing back here that's going to interfere with it uh, besides the valve cover hitting the firewall. Boy, it seems like we're getting a lot of room. 
gaining a lot of real estate on this. That's how much we gained right there. Maybe just an inch on that side and an inch, maybe two inches on this side. The angle is now, I can probably, I might be able to get my impact gun on that. And we're basically right there to the valve cover touching that little clamp on that hose on the line going inside to the heater core. I think what we might have to do is just pull that one bolt for the steering stabilizer and then the whole pan will probably slide right through here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that pan and then we'll lower this back down so that I can get the valve cover and stuff off. We'll just pull the pan and then we'll set it back down on the motor mounts right onto the frame. Okay, here we are, moment of truth. Keep in mind that uh, while you're working on getting all these bolts off, your jack might have settled and mine did the valve so it had settled down so check that make sure it's lifted as high as it'll go and drum roll please i have no idea this is gonna work and just how big of a bear it's gonna be to get it around the pickup tube oh boy you're gonna love that sound yeah so this is what you're dealing with, trying to get pan around that SOB right there. So camera goes down, time to wrestle this thing out of there. Well, one thing is certain, we're going to have to deal with the removal of the pickup, which is just four bolts. It'll be real quick, but you know, the problem is, the challenge is dealing with that on the install when you're trying to keep your bead of RTV or fippage. Yeah, two bolts on the this end of the pickup, one bolt in the middle, and then one more bolt over there. Pull those off, it's all going to come out together, no problem. There you go, plenty of room. Those popped out with ease and it just kind of fell down into the pan. I'll bet you I could pull this thing out single-handedly while I film. Come on, don't make a liar out of me. <laughs> it's gonna come, but the, the point here is that it's gonna be a strategy to get to get uh, the sealant reinstalled. So what I'm planning on having to do is most likely uh, I'm going to put the whole thing in there dry, get it all in position, and then while it's resting, while the pan is resting on the differential here, then lay my bead in very carefully after I get the, after I get the uh, pickup line reinstalled. So, well, shoot, man. Maybe I got another centimeter on my jack here. Let's find out. Jack, man, it's got a bad leak. It's got a bad valve, a leaky valve. So you get that thing lifted up just that far. Come on, dude. Oh fuck! Practically gonna be all but that bolt right there for the cross member here. Either one, you can choose that one or this one, and that whole assembly will drop out of your way. It should come out with ease, but. You think that maybe you could kind of twist her and contort her a little bit, but you just don't want to go. I don't want to jack up the ceiling edge of the bottom of the block or anything. So that's it. That's my determination. Is this seems to be a pretty easy way in comparison to dropping the diff and everything else? If you don't have a uh, idler arm puller set it could be a little bit of a trick for you to get one of these broke loose but uh i've got a puller so maddox they're making decent tools these days but take your pick i'm probably gonna have to use this little guy right here all right we got that one disconnected had to resort to that tool right there but of course it's bound up still by this one so may have to i may have to drop that one also but let's give it one last shot here. It might've come down enough to finagle this little bitch out of here. Rick, there you have it.
have it, people. Fuck. Wow. Well, that's a site that is obviously a major concern about doing these. Doing these. Is that, well, you might be doing this to change out your timing chain because there might be, you might have suspected your timing chain guide may have broken. This is a plastic one. I'm not sure whether we got metal ones or plastic ones here, but let's just pull this thing out here onto the bench. Anyway, there you have it. A heck of a lot easier, it seems, in my mind than even messing with, you know, some guys pull all of the front differential out, lower the whole thing down, drop the, you know, there's all sorts of varieties. But anyway, we've proven here that it can be done just by lifting the engine. Now, as far as getting it sealed, that's going to be a trick. Look at what the last guy did right there. <laughs> he just got, he's got the cork gasket everywhere. But then uh, he's got some sort of RTV on it. And then he's got all these corners, these seams sealed. So it's going to be a trick to actually get it, uh, you know, the new bead once we get it all cleaned up and get it to where it'll actually seal. But we're not going to use cork. And in fact, Toyota does not list a gasket for this truck, for these 22 REs. You cannot buy a gasket from Toyota. At least I couldn't find one. Also, LC Engineering does not sell them. They say that they don't use them. You're supposed to just use Fippage. Form in place gasket from Toyota or the equivalent, the rough equivalent, RTV, what have you. Now, you can see the front main seal on this bad boy was a big culprit to the leak, as indicated by all this clean area right there on the bottom of that. Uh, not just the front main seal, actually, but the ceiling surface of the oil pump too so anyway that's a wrap it can be done more to follow on the finishing of this truck that'll be a wrap for this video but once we get this thing all buttoned back up well, actually i might have another chapter here on just the whole can you replace the timing cover gaskets water pump etc without pulling the head it can be done, and we're going to make it happen. Stay tuned for the next part if you're interested in that. Thanks for watching. Safety glasses. Anytime you're underneath the truck. I can't stand having shit fall in my eyeballs, but thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around, and uh, good luck on your project. We'll see you on the next one. The biggest fear with if your timing chain guide comes apart is, well, if your timing chain fails, obviously, as this is an interference engine, it's not gonna be good, but if the timing chain, chain guide comes apart, then you may have grooves, some pretty big grooves in your timing chain cover. So you may have to replace that, depending on how long it was running that way. But And I also understand that you know, broken down, chunked up stuff in your pickup right here is supposedly what causes a lot of 22 are used to starve of oil and break down. So we just got the one big chunk here. It looks like our replacements are from LC Engineering metal guides. So they're backed by metal, so they shouldn't be able to separate. And they have a nylon or whatever <clears throat> liner on them. So it should be a lot more sturdy and long lasting. Now let's see what's in here. Oh boy, oh boy, a little treasure trove, oh boy, Oof. holy wow, holy shit, I would not have freaking, I can't believe that dude, all plastic guides, why the F would they sell all plastic guides, what in the hell, unbelievable, Jesus. Well, good news, we really, we were only diving into this just to stop the leaks and stop the coolant leak that's coming off of the back side of this plate, but it's a good damn thing we're in here. So that's what we're going to get after. So anyways, new developments, fun times.
Oh yeah, and in case you were wondering, and if you stuck around for the bonus content, sure enough, dude, no problem for the uh, XR 20 volt impact gun, the big boy. A couple clicks on it, popped right off. None of that trying to hold your pulley still, bumping the starter, none of that nonsense. It worked great.